So what do we do about rabbit gas pain? This is not an unusual phenomenon, especially if the rabbit has access to things he shouldn't be eating or too much of what he should be eating. You can get a rabbit who's gassy. One common uh, way we deal with this is we give the rabbit something called pediatric cymethicone, which really is baby gas drops. There are many different brands. Baby gas drops comes in a little shaker bottle, and you just draw up a little syringe worth and you put it in the rabbit's mouth. It doesn't leave the rabbit's intestinal tract. It doesn't leave the lumen of the intestinal tract, so you can't really overdose it, but we usually give about one milliliter or one cc per hour for three hours straight. One dose, an hour later a second dose, an hour later a third dose. If there's no difference by the third dose, a difference probably isn't going to happen from that. But the other thing that we do that I wanted to show here is we give rabbits belly massage and some rabbits just really love this and respond to it and it's very helpful with gas. Sometimes you'll hear them pass gas or you'll hear the gas bubbling around in their bellies when you do this. And belly massage involves very gentle pressure under the rabbit's tummy like this. I'm just going to put my hands here and here and I'm going to kind of manipulate one side and then the other side up and down, up and down. Usually feels good. Bean does not have gas pain right now. Bean is this little bunny's name. He doesn't have gas pain, but he enjoys belly massage anyway. It feels good. I sometimes push the whole belly back and forth from side to side, and you can hear funny little noises like ko yo 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 when you're doing this. You hear the gas moving around, which is part of the point. If you have trapped air in the, in the digestive tract and you can help that air move along, you're gonna help relieve the bunny's pain. So this is an easy part of belly massage to do. What you don't want to do is you never want to push your fingers so far up into the belly that you increase the rabbit's pain. So you just be very, very gentle, keep the rabbit comfortable, and when you're finished the side-by-side -side motion, you might want to try this kind of motion, where you're lifting the rabbit's hindquarters, and I place him in my arms like this, facing my dominant hand, and I raise his butt, and I basically, I let him bounce like this. Just gently let him bounce. Sometimes I support the hindquarters like this, but it doesn't matter. Most bunnies like this feeling and they will relax into your hands. You can actually feel their little bodies settle into your hand. They drop their weight right down into your hand because it feels good. It's a relief. It's kind of like rubbing your belly when you have a stomach ache. They just really enjoy it and you can watch their feet drop down. And you don't have to wait till your bunny has gas pain to do this. If your bunny loves belly massage or likes to have this body position, is that too high? You can, you can just kind of experiment, find out what's comfortable for your bunny, um, what's too much. That was probably a little too much for him, a little too high, and so I back off. Um, watch your bunny's feedback and you'll know. If you're doing something painful, stop doing it. Experiment with a different position. It's easy and it might provide an awful lot of relief. Right, Beanie? You little cutie?